this feature is only available in Google Ad Manager 360. Under Admin Global Settings, you're going to see Report Settings, and you have the toggle Reports in Data Studio. This allows you to connect Ad Manager data with Google Data Studio for better data presentation and analysis. Once you have it enabled, go ahead and click on Save. There's a specific permission that is required in order to make this happen. So the role or permission is called View and Share Access to Reporting Data in Google Data Studio. And the administrator and executive roles already have this permission by default. So let's go ahead and check that. And it's right here. So make sure you have that permission depending on the role assigned to your login before you can connect Google Ad Manager and Data Studio. Open datastudio.google.com, click Create, select Data Source. Let's first enter our basic information. From here, we are going to select Google Ad Manager 360. On this page, go ahead, click on Available Networks on the left and select the Google Ad Manager account you want to connect for the report type, click on Historical, and on the upper right-hand corner, click Connect. The Data Source Fields panel appears, and the data source is now connected to your data set. In the upper right, click Create Report to develop your first report. You're going to get a pop-up. You can select to not show this again, and you can say Add to Report. Now, another way for you to start creating reports, once you're on the home page, you can either click on the plus sign here to create a blank report, or click Create and select Report. If you want to start with a template, you can go ahead and explore the template gallery in here. Now let's say, for example, you do like the Google Ads Overview template here. Go ahead, click and select. If you think this fits your needs and the presentation you'd like to do, you can go ahead and select or click Use Template on the upper right-hand corner. And here, you need to change the data source. Click Create New Data Source. Select Google Ad Manager 360. Click Available Networks. And for the report type, click Historical and click Connect. Here you can edit the dimensions depending on your needs. So you can manually remove or rename the fields to make sure it represents the data that you'd like to present. So for example, you don't want to say country and you want it to show in the report as geo. It's really up to you. And here for the metrics, you can see how the data will be presented. So let's say here you have unfilled impressions and instead of showing the number of unfilled impressions, you want to show it as a percentage. So you can go ahead and click this and then choose numeric and then select percent. So here you can manually change or modify the type of data, how it, you want it to be presented, and also the fields here, your dimensions, and your metrics. You may also add a calculated field here that is not readily available. So go ahead, click Add a Field. So let's say, for example, we'll create a new field called Add Requests. And because this is not readily available, we'll go ahead and do a calculation for it. So let's say for Add Requests, we are going to calculate the sum of unfilled impressions plus total impressions. All right. Now, if it says invalid formula, that means it's not able to calculate or do that calculation. Let's go ahead and try to remove this. And there's the green check, meaning the formula syntax is valid. Now, it's able to conduct or perform this calculation, it's going to add unfilled impressions and total impressions, and it will be called add requests, or we can also modify that to say total add requests. All right, now we'll go ahead and click on save. Click all fields to go back. And now, if you are going to search for that field, you're going to see that total add requests now exists as one of the metrics. And if you notice, there's a box here that says FX, meaning it's a calculated field. Once ready, go ahead and click on Add to Report. Let's go ahead and use this template and use Google Ad Manager 360. Click Copy Report. Data Studio will then update the graphs and charts here, the tables, with the data captured from the data source that you have connected. Now, what about if you want to create a report from scratch without using a template? You can go ahead and create from here. And again, it will ask you to 
connect data, click add to report, and by default, it will give you a table with a summary of all your data from the Google Ad Manager 360 account that you connected. You can go ahead and give this report a title. And you can also choose to add a chart. For example, I'll add time series chart here and click where you want it to show up. You can then modify how big the chart will be and reposition as needed. I'll add another chart, for example, and this time I'm gonna do a bar chart. Now click the chart and you can use the metric or change the metric here. So let's say right now it's capturing total impressions and let's say I wanna change it to revenue. And there it is. Now let's say, for example, I'll add another chart and this time I'm gonna do a pie chart and I want it shown here. And again, I'll click it. Now, if you wanna style, go ahead and click the chart and go to the style tab. A lot of different customizations available in here. So let's say we also want to see the total ad requests and we add another metric here. And when you search for that, it's not available. So in that case, you can go ahead and click on create field. And this allows you to create a calculated field. We'll call it total ad requests, for example. And in this case, we're gonna sum up total impressions plus unfield impressions. When you see a green check, meaning the formula syntax is valid, it's able to calculate or perform that calculation. And here you can say, is it going to be a number, a percentage, or currency? So obviously total ad request is going to be a number, so we'll keep it as is. And then we'll go ahead, click on apply. And let's say we'll add another metric here and we'll show the revenue. So we can compare it with impressions, ad requests. All right, now you're gonna see it's a flat line at the bottom because it's following the left axis here, right? So since revenue is a currency, we need to make sure it has another axis here for currency. Go to style. And you will notice that series number three is the revenue. So we'll make sure that the axis here is on the right. You can also add a trend line if you want to, or change the color, change the thickness, and we can also show it as a bar chart instead of a line chart. So there are so many things you can do here in Data Studio. You can also change the background color here. Now, if you wanna look at how your data looks like, you can click the view button here. So when you share it with someone, present it to someone, this is how it's gonna look like. To go back to editing, just click again the button edit, and you can add a control here. So let's say we want a date range control and we'll click here. Now you can add a default date if you wish to. Let's say last quarter and click on apply. You can also add more controls here and this allows your user to navigate or change the range or you know the data that they wanna see when they use your report. So let's go ahead and click on view again. So here, your user can change it if they wish to. So for example, the user just wants to view January 1st to January 31st. Click on apply and there you go. So to enter an image, for example, a logo, you can go ahead and do so. You can upload, let's say that, and we can reposition this, for example. And there you go. Visit Google Analytics Academy to learn more. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed our presentation. Also, learn to monetize more by watching our tutorial series and reading our latest ad optimization tips. Please subscribe to our blog to receive periodic updates. Thanks. We'll catch you next time.